so welcome to our youtube channel get arena today we will going to talk about the uh, our first ar project using the around you option in a blip ar so in this what we will be doing first we will going to see what are the option available in the blipper and then we will going to create our first project so you can see that it this is written to dashboard okay that means if you go back to the blip ar so you can go from here so this if i click on this you will go back to the this particular now let's say again i'm opening this so the second option we have got the library assets so if you i click on library assets you can find that all the assets okay like we have got a audio image and video are available here you can see there we can find it with respect to the date uploaded or we can click on name so by the name you will also going to find all these things so i have already have uploaded some of the videos and the images so or audio so it is appearing here then we have got a second option that is the 3d model okay so if you see on the 3d models you will get the basic shape okay if you scroll down further you can get the pool shape fun activities nature object and many more okay so these are the some of the 3d library which you can use to create your ar project then we have got the image option so all the images which you will going to upload or the images that are being default used in the blip ar are available here so you can see that we can use any of these images which are available or you can simply click on plus icon and click on browse option and you can upload any of the image videos or anything which you want from here then we have got another option which is the video option so you can upload all your videos here finally we have got a built in widget where we have got a empty split text cylinder map and sphere map and then we have got the lights condition which we can use for creating our ar project on the other side if you come on this we have got the option of toggle action and event creator then we have got save image of a current view okay or you can use the shortcut key shift and 4 then we have got a cyclic font preview okay that means uh, if you click on this a mobile will going to appear again if you click on then mobile will be rotated then we have got a toggle full screen view so if i click on this i will be getting a full screen view like this okay so i can press the scrap button and then i will return to this original screen if you have done something you want to go for the undo or the redo operation you can use this okay if you want to go for the align selected items you can use it okay and if you want to save the existing project in the version history okay so you can use this thing then we have got a customize option then we have got a test on device whatever the ar project you have created you can click on test on device and this qr code will going to appear and this will be valid for only 20 minutes so you can take out your mobile phone scan it and that whatever the AR content you have created will going to appear on your mobile phone then we have got a preview mode so whatever the AR you have created it will going to be shown here so it will going to create some element and the preview mode will be going to appear here so right now we don't have any element we have created so we are not having anything right so let's start with first project let's say I will be using the text so what I've done I have click on the text and I have drag it into this around you user reason okay so if i click on this sample text you can see the basic property here we have got a sample text so here i can write my name like say dr prasha or whatever you want to give let me do it again write the text here you will going to find the sample text and here i'm writing my first a r project you have got the option of action on touch action on touch means if you want to touch this what action you want to perform Okay, you can go to the audio, you can go to the video, you can go to the website, you can go to the call, you can go to the email, you can go to the product page, you can go to your YouTube channel, you can go to the Twitter or you can go to the scene. So here you will going to find that we have got this scene one. So right now this is our scene one. So if we want to create more scene, we can click on here and we can add a scene two. Only we have to enter it and the scene two will be created. So you can see this is the scene two right now we are having. And if we go back, this is the first thing which we are having. And now you can see that whatever the color you want to select, you can select from here. So let's say I'm selecting this red color. So you can see that my first project, AR project is been red in color. I can select the fonts, different font labels are available. 
okay so i can use this font label or this font label or whatever it's up to you if i want to use some background color i can use my background color as well and if you don't want to use any background color click on this and now let's say uh, we have created this first ar project now i want to view it okay so what i will going to do i will click on this cyclic font preview mode and now you can see that uh, my first ar project is going outside my mobile view if i click on this you can see okay the it is clearly visible in the landscape mode okay so what i can do i can change the size and the direction of it okay so if you can see that if i click on this okay my first ar project you will be getting the position x axis that is the red color y that is the green color and z that is the blue color then we have got a rotation available here if you want to rotate it you can use this option okay whether you want to rotate in the x or a, a y or a z you can use this option then we have got a scale option this ar project was looking like this i want to scale it down i want to reduce its size okay so i can do what i can scale it like this or you can directly give the some particular values from here now if i can use this y direction if i want to move it upside okay so you can see i am increasing the, this direction or even i can use this arrow button okay and i can move it like this put a mouse on this green color arrow it will going to move up and down similarly i can use this arrow i can move my my first ar project in this particular direction okay now what i have to do i have to click on preview so it will going to create some element and then you will going to see it will going to show you this my first ar project now next what we have to do we have to use our mobile phone to scan it for this i have to click on test on device so it will going to generate the qr now what i have to do i have to scan this qr code with the help of my mobile phone so let me do it right now we we'll click on open link and now it is creating the same thing which we have seen in the preview model and now with the help of our mobile phone you will be able to see it my first ar project is coming here if i rotate this one it will going to come like this okay sometimes it say this experience is optimized for portrait display so what you can do is just go and click on orientation okay now when i click on this now you can see my first ar project is so if i do it like this you can see that then my first ar project is available you can create a screenshot with this image icon available here you can download it like this so this is how we have created our first ar project <laughs>